biggest block for really allowing your voice to come out is trying to sound good and trying to sing. Um, so when I sing now and when I, when I lead groups or I do one-on-one -on -one singing sessions with people, I really try as much as I can to get them to step out of the idea that they're, they need to sound good or they, they need to perform and actually get in touch with something that's deeper. The best thing in this exercise is to not delay because when you don't even know the cushion's coming towards you and you see it coming towards you and you hear a note, as much as you can just sing the note without any thought process, because I can tell you that thoughts are what blocks the voice coming out. So we want to minimize any thinking. We want to just keep in the going. choir. I will refer to that a lot where I just ask people to to whether it's to close their eyes or just to to really get in in touch with the sound that wants to come out and um, and let that feeling lead the way as opposed to any kind of judgment on how anything how anything sounds so when we're when we're singing as a group together if everybody can even just tune into the one sound that's being created by the whole group singing together it takes the focus off the personal self that you know is trying to do it actually singing is it's like a metaphor even for a course in miracles because the course is um, a pathway in letting go of the blocks to love's awareness you know love is not something that that we are taught or that we learn it's who we are and there's all of these blocks and beliefs that are in the way so the path of the course is to to see all of those blocks and let them go so we can get in touch with who we truly are and i see the voice as being the same thing we're all born with this natural voice everybody has a voice so it's not about learning to sing it's a process of unlearning it's letting go of all the ways we try and control the voice everything we try to do to create the sound fully letting go of that and then letting this pure sound just flow through and there's really nothing that we need to do in that it all it it's something that just happens by itself <laughs> yeah that's that's the kind of feeling we're going for in everything that we're singing just this really really intimate sound whether it's a really upbeat piece and it's loud and we're dancing or whether it's like a, a very prayerful song it's like you still want to have that intimate connected feeling throughout i feel like something else is doing it the spirit is doing it it's kind of I don't have to work anything out, I just, I hear a thought or I feel an energy or something is just happening and, um, and I'm just allowing it to move through and it is so joyful and the experience is that at the end of it I'm, I'm more energized, it doesn't take anything from me, it just gives to me over and over. So, um, so that's not just in music and in singing, that's how you know, I live my life and I feel like everybody in this community lives their life, or at least we're practicing to live in that way. Um, and singing is just a, a, a great way for me to practice. <laughs> as long as I shall live, I will testify.